Welcome to this video. In this series of videos, we are gonna explain modeling an RV of randomly distributed fiber reinforced composite. In the first video, a Python script was written to create an RV of short fiber composites. I ran this code one more time. In this RV, fibers have random position and orientation without fibers intersection. In this video, we are gonna explain how to assign properties and orientation to each fiber and matrix. In the next video, basics of applying periodic boundary condition to the RV will be explained. So keep watching to assign properties and orientations in this video. To assign material to the matrix, we go to the property module and create a material for the matrix. The material is linear elastic and we enter Young modulus and Poisson ratio of the epoxy resin. Then we create a material section with the name of matrix and assign the material to the matrix. Now we go to the Python software and open the abacus.rpy file. You can find this file in the work directory. At the end of the file, we can find the commands related to creating a material and assigning this section to the matrix. I copy all of these lines and add them to our code. The first and second line define the material and the third command defines the section. Then we have four lines which pick the matrix and create a set and put the set in the region parameter. Here is also a repeated line and I delete it. The first line choose the part and put it in the P variable and in the second line all the faces of the part are put in the F variable. The third line picks the face related to the matrix, but we prefer to pick the face by a simpler command based on the position. The find that command picks the face which contains a special coordinate. By entering 0, 0 and 0, we pick the face which contains the corner of the part. Then we extract the index of the face and use it to create a set by the picked surface and put the set in the region variable. We also change the name of the set because we will use set1 later for fibers. In the next command, we assign the matrix section to the region. Similar to the matrix, we create a material and assign it to one of the rectangles. Each rectangle can be a single fiber or a resin impregnated bundle of fibers. In the latter case, the rectangle is a unidirectional composite and we define its properties by lamina. In the current simulation, we assign the properties of the glass epoxy unidirectional composite to the rectangles. Please note that G13 and G23 are not important in two-dimensional simulation. Now we create a section and assign the section to one of the fibers. To assign material orientation to the fiber, at first we should create a datum coordinate system. We create a rectangular coordinate system and the origin is at the corner of the fiber and then x direction and y direction and then we assign material orientation to this fiber Similar to the matrix properties, we can find the related commands from the abacus.rpy file and edit them. 
The edited commands are as follows. The first two commands create the fiber properties and the third command create the section. In the next command, we pick all the faces of the part and put it in the F variable. Then for all the fibers, at first we find the fiber center and also the fiber direction which is theta. And then we find that a face that the center is located in the face. Finally, we create a region by the face and also create a set by the name of fiber and number of fiber. Now we picked a region related to a fiber and we can assign material and orientation to this face. We assign the material to the region and after that we should create a datum coordinate system and assign the system to the region. To create the datum coordinate system, we use the center of the fiber as the origin and then we use the angle of the fiber and center to create x and y axis of this coordinate system. After that, we should find the last created datum coordinate system. For this purpose, we extract all the keys and then use the last key to choose the last created coordinate system. Then using the region and the last coordinate system, we assign material orientation to the fiber. Finally, we insert the part in the assembly module and then create a step in the step module. I run the code one more time and you can see that the material is assigned to all the fibers and also all fibers have orientations. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video was helpful, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. You can also watch the next video related to applying periodic boundary condition to this problem. See you in next videos.